Hello guys, and welcome back whoa, to another episode of Mafia 1, the Definitive Edition. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you you're old and grey. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. Well, I recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. And he didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a dance consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Well, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, police at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here.
Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. She's like a good girl. How's it going, guys? Hope you are well. That was quite a long cutscene then, wasn't it? So it looks like... Sure. Oh, Frankie calls the shots the and day, stuff. When the boss was still with their phone, he got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. Right. Another cutscene. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. All right. So uh, you know it's not going to go to plan. <laughs> Something's going to go wrong. Uh, oh, that's actually something over here I can see on the map. This is Mama Motors, yours. If you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. Right, what we got? Super scientist stories. Right, okay, this motor here, is it? All right, I guess we're all uh, getting. Thank you. Right, so we have to the, uh, we have to pick up Sam, do we? Or is it, or is it the other person? Poorly. I don't know, I can't remember now. Right, let's go. Yeah, that was some... Uh, Quite big cutscenes then. Oh, we should have got a car at the garage actually. We got a fast one. But it's alright, we get to drive in the rain in the dark. And it's good to drive all these different cars, I think. Oops, we'll crash them. <laughs> is this about. Which is causing traffic to back up on the East Marshall Oh, what's this about traffic? Oh no, this is going to affect us, isn't it? Ending incidents as they can, but they've now issued advice that people should not venture out on the roads unless their journey right. is strictly necessary. The roads are so, I don't know if you can hear this radio show. This is basically setting us up, I think, for um, a getaway. So we're going to have loads and loads of traffic, I reckon. It would seem the best thing to do on a night like this. Oh, it's copper cop, few coppers there. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, this is the traffic jam here. Or the crash. Right, let's keep going. Air traffic in and out of the city has been suspended by order of the aviation authority. All scheduled flights departing Lost Kevin International have been grounded. And those scheduled to arrive into that airport have been cancelled or diverted elsewhere. Now, as bad as that may sound, the latest report from the weather service that I've just been handed states that although the rain is heavy at this moment, and that all warnings should be heeded, the storm isn't expected to last all that long. Certainly, right, okay. it doesn't seem like it will be anything like the big one of 1927. High winds are pushing the storm over us at quite a rate. Big storm of 1927. Will, of course, keep you informed with news on the hour. I wonder but if that actually happens. Turn you to our musical programming. Let me reiterate that the Turn the radio station over, I think. Bit of music. Let's get us in the mood. Oh, 
Right, where are we? This is it. This is the warehouse then here. Right, things are going to go wrong. <laughs> I, I think I remember this mission. It rings a bell. Come on, Tom! Yeah, I hope we don't have to do a getaway in this thing. Watch it, pal. Just dry it out. Say, you know this place? Oh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, uh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> Now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. <laughs> That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake them. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. All right, okay, so something. Search for clues, find Sam. I suspect Paulie, I don't know, he, he seems a bit odd to me. He's acting a bit strange. Almost feels like this is getting, this is a setup, is it? Right, okay, I thought I saw something right up there, but it wasn't, there was nothing. Right, there's something here, anyway. Someone's been waiting here tonight. Right, let's have a look and see what this says. One quarter out of work. Right, okay, this is just to do with the, um, um, the depression. So, government report shows no end to the slowdown. Measures to date have failed to halt economic slide. Unemployment stands at 25%. Farm foreclosures are at a two-year high as smallholders battle the combined threat of financial hardship and the dust storms choking the high plains. In response, the president proposes new legislation to stabilise the banking system. All right, okay, so things aren't going very well with the economy. Um, it's quite nice to sort of know what's going on, really, in the world. It, it adds to the immersion, I think. Right, so what has happened is some... Some hurt or something or oh hang on what's this question there's a question mark over here I see on the map yeah we paid to keep this place in check don't even pretend to find now well, it's a little dark hope you guys can see all right right so just let's just keep moving I'm just looking at the red uh, the yellow circle on the the mini map yeah this game I'm really enjoying this game so far um I love the cutscene the graphics on the cutscenes like, you can see all the skin, like the real definition of the skin and stuff. It looks really good. I don't know where we should have just wandered in here. 
Something don't feel right. Yeah, I don't think... I feel the same there, Tommy. Missing Farmer Fang Dead. Right. Uh, missing Farmer Fang Dead. Lost Heaven. Uh, June the 17th. Harry Smith missing for two months. Was confirmed dead today by the Lost Heaven Country Coroner Office. By the County Coroner Office. A fruitless search led by the farmer's father and neighbours ended several weeks ago. The grisly discovery of the body was made by local children looking for edible mushrooms and berries in Woodland Local to Cops Farm. The death has not been treated as suspicious due to how Mr Smith's body was found. Hang, hanging by the neck, he is survived by his elderly father. Right. Oh, can we turn, I wonder if we can turn that over or something. No. Alright, okay, he's still got a question mark here for whatever reason. Right, okay, let's move on. Let's go to the next question mark. Oh, look at that lightning. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a dead dog. What kind of guy shoots a dog? Yes. I've shot a few dogs in Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> I didn't like it. Right. This is derelict. Bet you it's not. Okay, Carlo Falcone, Empire Bay. Carlo, okay, well, I've, uh, I butchered that name, I reckon. As all these Italian sounding names. So another thing as well, I wouldn't mind speaking to Luigi and finding out his backstory. I'm sure I remember Where this. The hell are you hiding? Yeah, I do remember this. Didn't we have to do something with our um, moonshine round here? It just rings a bell. Best to get the truck, okay. Right, so you having a health kit in here. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> god. That made me jump. Just knocked over something. Um, yeah, having... Yeah, just having a, a, the, the uh, health kit there, kind of... Um, Makes me think. Makes me think things aren't going to go right. Okay, who's that? Hey, buddy. Is that Sam? Jesus! Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay then. Get over here! I got him pinned down. No place to run. Over here. So are these? Oh. Um, I, I, I don't know whether these guys are gangsters or what. Kill, kill the ambushers. Right, this isn't a good that gun. It's too far away, isn't it? It's a shotgun, so... Right. Uh, has he gone yet? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, like I said, I'm not the greatest with a controller. I'm better with a mouse, but it does help having the auto aim function on here. Right. So investigate the ambush. Okay, let's have a look then. Let's have a let's have a look at these. Oh, what's this? Nothing about this feels right. Yeah, I, I remember moonshine in this. You know the stuff they make during the prohibition. Wow. It's me, Tom. Polly, what took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. So something is very crew. fishy. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. Oh, they were. They were police. They were cops. They're cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. It must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. 
get a bad come. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Right, I, I do feel this was kind of set up. Right, let's get out of here then. Let's get out of here. Follow These guys Paulie. Have a real deal. They gotta be cops from the border patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. You can do with some. PD look like pussy cats. Let's see if they got any weapons. Right. Okay. So I've got. An, I've now got a Tommy gun. I've swapped that over from my shotgun. The shotguns are right if you're short range. But it's, I, I could do with a rifle, to be honest. They're, they're pretty good weapons. In this. Come on, okay. uh, Paulie. The farm. Find Sam. Get the hell out. Anyone else? We slip them the boat. Get it? So, what do you think? Do you think we're going to walk out here easily? Or do you think something's going to happen? I think something's going to happen. Sam! Sam! Where the hell are you? You want to quiet down, Polly? Ah! Oh, there's blood here, guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think something's happened here. In fact, there's um, is that a Molotov Tommy, down here. You don't want to see this. Jesus. Oh. Hang on, something's in here. Oh, Jesus. Right, we got some Molotovs. And we have something here as well. Oh, what's this? Um, Joseph Tremblay, Tremblay, professional bottler, bottler, so, okay, that seems to be something to do with, um, bottling beer, so, maybe they have got some sort of operation going on here. Looks like we found the Canadians. See Sam in there? No. <sighs> like some. Right, okay, so, um... Yeah, things didn't go to plan. Let's have a look at this. Right, let's, let's go through here and see what what's going to happen. Oh, that lightning! That is amazing. That's pretty epic lightning. All right, let's go in this. Uh, right, it goes. Right, there's uh, there's a book in here, I think. Well, it might be in here. Let's have a look. Could be in this bottom one, actually. Oh! Is that a bad guy? Right here! Over here! Oh! Uh, let's have a quick look at this. What's he reading? Uh, George. I have it on good authority that Solaris whiskey handover is tonight. Our mutual friends want this line of Canadian booze coming into the city shut down. I want you and your men at the farm. We discuss by 9 p.m. Wait through the night and tell the boys it's fine if things get rough. They can take some hooch home to thank them for coming so far south. Good hunting. Right, so it was a Canadian whiskey. Oh, what's a mouse here? Um, right, okay, so now let's go, <laughs> let's go in uh, fights. No one's here then yet. Oh, God. Okay, that wasn't very good. Right, let's go and get some. Uh, <laughs> let's go and get some medic. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this again. Oh, is this a rifle? No, that's a shotgun. All right, so there's nothing else in here anyway. Not like I can see on the mini map anyway. All right, let's go into this other yellow area. Okay, what do you reckon? Just run in? What's the plan? Oh, who's that? Let's have a look. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. I 
kind of felt that was going to happen. It was going to be... Uh, Right, there's some more ammunition here, that's good. What's this? Public sale. Following the seizure of Cops Farm and the foreclosure of the business of J. Smith & Son by the Grand Imperial Bank, Lost Heaven Assets would uh, we be sold... Uh, Lost Heaven Assets we be sold at public auction at, on Tuesday. For some reason that was hard to read. <laughs> right, so we got two Molotovs, so we can probably get, make use of that, really. Oh! Oh, lovely. Who's that? Is this Sam? Come on, fellas. Push through. Okay, let's go check it. Go. Oh, yes. Right, we got a few guys over here. There's one over here. Right, he's gone there. He's gone there. Got that lightning. Oh, there's one over here. Christ. Bit cheeky. I've right, just got two more guys. Well, it's really hard to see when that lightning comes. Lights the whole sky up. Well, they're, they're, these guys are moment playing, aren't they? Oh, another one there. Right, who else? Oh, they're, trying, they're chucking Molotovs at us as well, the little buggers. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what. I'll check where are you. Where is he? Well, that was a waste. Right, I haven't got much ammo left. Look now. He's a cheeky so and so, isn't he? <laughs> we get him? Come on, poke your head out, that's all I want. Right, I wouldn't mind getting some more um, health, actually. Close, come on. Right, we've done it. Get to Sam. Get to Sam. Right, let's go and pick up some ammunition, just to make sure... We could actually get the swap gun, uh, the shotgun now. We gotta get to him. Well, none of these guys have got um any decent weapons on them. It's all they're just all revolvers. All right, maybe we should have kept the Tommy gun. Oh, we should have kept the damn Tommy gun. Okay, guys, are you, re are you ready? You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within 100 yards. Except us. Oh, there's some explosive barrels there. Sammy, oh Jesus, what have they done to you? I got clipped. Grace has a lot of blood. Can you walk? No, I don't think so. Okay, 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 just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, hmm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Fuck. Hey, hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. You sure? You sure we are? Oh, here it goes. Oh my goodness me. And it kicks off again. I just see a half uh, kit thing. Where'd all these guys come from? Take them down. Take cover. 
Oh, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> right, come on then, let's do this. Sometimes it's a bit annoying to have that, um, that snap, that aim snap, but... Oh god, there's more of them! Christ. Right, oh, we might need some more ammo. Oh god, they're coming up! <laughs> Where? I can't see where they are. Oh shit. Right, this isn't good. Um, I'm not doing this very well, I feel. <laughs> oh, where are they? Some guy down here. Right, change that weapon over. That's it. Tommy guns. Right, let's go and get some medikit real quickly, get some more ammunition as well. Yeah, one sec. One sec, Sam, let's go and check upon him. Right, how's it going, my man? Yeah, I think something's fishy going on here, and I think Paul is involved. I've got this funny feeling. Where's the goddamn truck? Crap, we got cops. Right, do we have to pick Sam up? Oh, shit. Now, oh, here they come. Oh, God. What am I doing? Defending Sam. Oh, boy. Well, are they in out here now, are they? Oh, God, they're all over. <laughs> oh, God. Don't get the stairs. Oh, he is. He's got... Christ. Did they come up here? <laughs> oh God. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to, trying to. It's not, it's not going down too well. Someone's coming upstairs, or they both are. Oh God, I need some more meds. I need some more meds. Yeah, I'm playing on, I'm playing on medium difficulty. I don't think I could handle anything harder than this yet, but oh, as you can Christ. probably see my gameplay shit. Tony and Donnie too? <laughs> yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. This is a pretty action-packed mission. Yeah. Right behind you, blast them down. Just don't let them get past us. Right, come on then, let's do this. Let's do it. We got unlimited. Um, yeah, we have. Oh no, yeah, we have got unlimited. Oh, I'm trying to get, maybe put the tires up, shall I? Yeah, we got a help bar now for for our. Right, we got that one. Lovely. Oh yeah, typical. Right, come on. Let's get the tires. Let's get the tires on it. 
I guess the tyres, especially, can, I, I was hoping you can get tyres. Come on, get the tyres, come on. Holy bastard! My pedal is to the metal! Guess this was supposed to happen. Two squad cars on us! These guys keep on coming! Come on, die. That's it. Our health isn't looking too bad, I think. Oh, God. Have we fucked it up? I'm trying to, kill the, I'm trying to get the driver. Come on! We should have do. We should do this now. We got a motorbike. Oh! Oh! Right on the edge. Chef, you okay? We're in trouble, Tom. Oh boy! Right, seven gone. We've got these guys now. Let's go and um. Ollie, more here. Oh come on! Wait till he, wait till he stops firing, and then we go in. So that's when they're reloading, isn't it? Oh dear me! Oh, oh, right over the edge! This isn't good. Oh my god, they got everything thrown at us, haven't they? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, we actually can make this! Oh, we did it quite easily, actually. Or maybe not. Okay. Got two more little bits of windscreen armor to go. Have we got anything bigger? Right, let's get this in the wind, that's it. Oh no, that's way off. <laughs> okay, let's okay, let's try that. No. No. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wow. Endless supply of uh, whiskey. Or oh, that Molotov cocktails we've got. We did it. We did it. Nice. We need to get Sam to a doctor. Okay, we're here, Tom. You can see him out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam, Sam. We made it. We're at the doctor's house. This is three, I owe you. What are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. 
Oh, I love his pajamas. <laughs> the doctor already got his hands full. No sense of both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. Alright, so drive to Sarah's apartment so we can finally make our uh, date. I guess we drive into this car here. I'm not sure if this is our car from before or not. It must be actually. This is the one we uh, we drove. Right, okay. I'm hoping it'll be a nice peaceful drive back. Let's turn over. Bit of music. Bit of music while we uh, drive back. Yeah, so, um, if you are new to the channel, uh, yeah, so first of all, thanks for watching if you are new to the channel, and, uh, so I started this channel back in, uh, April, I think, of this year, so just to let you know, guys know that I'm, uh, I'm, my plan is to keep going with this channel and, and uh, improve on all aspects, and to see how it goes, really. Um, I've always been a keen YouTuber, as in watching YouTube. And I've always been keen on games, so uh, so I just thought, well, you know, I was on lockdown for a bit, on furlough, so uh, I'm, I was one of those people who started doing this during um, uh, furlough, so I had more time. I thought it was the right time to start. And I have to say, I'm actually really enjoying making these videos. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, or I know there's not many people watching it at the moment. I've only got a, a few uh, a few view viewers, but I'm hoping that will change. Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? So, I, I, so I'm playing Mafia, I'm at the moment I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance as well. Um, and I'm not sure what else I'll play after this one, to be honest. I've got nothing on the horizon. So I'm playing on PC. I might get the new PlayStation 5. So which we will open uh, the door for more games. And currently I'm in the bedroom here, the spare bedroom. Trying to make videos. And slowly buying all the stuff. So I've got the green screen behind me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so it's all a big learning curve for me at the moment. And we're on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Yeah, like I said, it's a big learning curve um, to get everything right, and also try to play. One of the hardest thing I really wish, which I find, well, I still I struggle big, big time, is trying to talk and um, play the game at the same time, because uh, I just cannot concentrate on playing the game when I'm talking and vice versa. When I'm playing the game, I'm trying to talk, I, my mind just drifts off, and I, I won't finish the sentence. Uh, Right, okay, looks like we are here then. Back at home. Oh no, we're not back at home, we're... Oh yeah, we are, we're back at our place. And, uh... We're going to see Sarah. Oh no, we're not back at our place. Right, let's go and... Oh, is someone crying? Is that a baby crying? Right, let's, um... Let's go and see Sarah. Oh. Okay, she's got. It's all right. She's got a bottle of red wine started. Doesn't look happy. You're late. Oh. Dinner's cold. Oh, like that, is it? <laughs> Work.
Okay. Okay, guys. That was a very long uh, mission, and it was a very nice ending as well. Seeing Tommy propose to Sarah, and Sarah quite relaxed and say, "Okay." So, hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Uh, if you have, please leave a like, and uh, I, I hope I'll see you guys next time. Take care.